Hi everyone, Adrian here with another video and a uh, special shout out to Justin which I'm doing this video for. So here we have a, well my LG G-Pad 8.3 um, and uh, I've just put uh, Cyanogen Mod 12 on it because uh, uh, the chances of LG actually getting around to you know putting out the Android 5.0 Lollipop update um, Pretty slim, I reckon, considering their track record. So, I thought I'd go from the stock 4.4.2 KitKat straight to Cyanogen Mod 12 on here. Now, this is a nightly build, so there may be some bugs, uh, whatnot, that may not be working, which I may come across. Uh, but that's just a risky take. Uh, two things that I found so far. Battery life is worse than on stock. Um, I wouldn't say super bad, but it is uh, considerable. Um, also, there is it does get a bit warm on the back here when downloading apps or whatnot uh, on stock. It didn't used to get as warm. Also, there is no software for the IR blaster, so which is right there. So that's out, but uh, you know, so it's something that I haven't used much anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so this is just the, the uh, default LG G Pad 8.3. This is not the Google Play edition, um, which did get updated to Android Olipop 5.0 anyway. So, uh, as the current time, 5.0.2 is the latest release of Android Lollipop, which is what this build of CyanogenMod Mod 12 has. So I've been playing with it for a few hours. Um, took me a while to get there, so I figured out, you know, I'm trolling through the internet to eventually get it to the tablet to be rooted, and then install twerp recovery, and then finally nightly build of CM12. So let's get straight into it. I won't hold you guys back. Now, double tap and to wake and double tap to sleep are still here. So just double tap. And there is the lock screen. So all your notifications come up in here. So if you've got Twitter, music player, app, whatever, all shows up on there. Um, you've got here battery life you know, Wi-Fi, flight mode, and um, this over here allows you to switch users if you've got more than one user. Okay, so I'll just unlock this since I have a pin protection on it. Okay, bingo, we're in. So this is uh, Android Olipop. I'll just show you quickly uh, all the new features. So here we go, we've got the app drawer here. As you can see, it looks pretty smooth. So LG did have a pretty light skin on the G-Pad anyway, but uh, you know, this just, through my experience with this so far, this just blows it away, you know, by far. Um, just super smooth. Now if you go from the left, up there, as you can see there, gives you notifications only in a condensed form. So to get the full lot with the you know the usual um, toggles for the quick settings and whatnot, you have to go from the right. See there you go. Now you've got uh, settings. You've got the battery status settings there. You can display the weather. Um, I'm not sure if that's stock Lollipop or something that's a Cyanogen mod. Um, added in there. Uh, brightness slider, so this does, you know, it's got the automatic brightness anyway, because uh, of the ambient light sensor up here. Uh, that's my Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, it's in flight mode, order rotate, you know, rotation lock, whatever, location, GPS, and car screen for Chromecast. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, let's just uh, go into the settings. This is settings screens here, just the usual uh, settings. So 
in earlier builds of Android, and obviously it was just one long list, so they've tried to organize a little bit better here. Uh, as you can see there, can you see there, down the bottom? So if you swipe from the left, it comes up, this is part of the material design, so everything just looks and feels great when you scroll through it, see that? So you come from the right, and then the, you know, the curve there shows that you come from the right, or the center. So not, there you go. So anything scrolling just pops up on that. So about the tablet, here we go. So I've already posted a screenshot of this before, but there it is right there. Sign Engine Mod uh, 5.0.2. Uh, this is a nightly from January 11, which is the latest build as of today. So all things uh, going well. If you go through here, you should be able to get over the air updates to the nightly builds. So you don't have to go any through any pesky uh, manual flashing each time. Yeah. There you go. There's Olipop. There's colours. And you've got a version of Flappy Bird. Which I've never been any good at. And haven't even bothered to try on here. Oh, look at that. Now it's ready. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of it. So, the buttons here have changed, but they're essentially the same functions. Back, uh, open the app drawer, and uh, you know, um, task feature or not. Okay, uh, I haven't organized my home screen properly, as you can see, but this is, you'll probably recognize, is the Google Now Launcher. So, that hasn't changed in appearance, really. Here's the app drawer. All the apps are here. So, one of the things that has improved on uh, this Android Lollipop is uh, the opening and the uh, switching between apps and all of that. So I remember before on both the G Pen and my G3, you know, I used to open Engadget on here and then the scrolling would be really, really choppy. So as you can see on here, look at that. It takes a while for the Wi-Fi to catch up to load the story thumbnails, obviously, but even just going through here, it was just like really, really, really uh, choppy. Okay. Stories galore. I don't know. What else is there? Everything works pretty well. Um, what else? These things like file manager here are some, uh, things that the Cyanogen and Mod have provided. It's not part of Stop Lollipop, so it does say that within the app itself. Um, but they have inherited material design, which is good in keeping the consistency. I'm not sure about the gallery. Um, be another thing that CM's put in there because I was under the impression that Google Plus Photos was the default uh, photo viewing utility uh, for Android from now on. Um, let's show what else we can, we can see. What else can it can show you? This is Google Maps. Now this is a because it's a G pad. This is a Snapdragon 600, so. You expect pretty easy if you perform this, you know, it's probably a notch above the Snapdragon 400, which is perfectly capable of running Android 5.0, as you have seen with devices like the Moto G, um, Moto G 2014, etc. Um, but I remember even on the G band, this was just a bit choppy when it was going in. Look at see, as you can go in there, look at that. Just double tap, see if we can get in the city and what's this Turkmenistan? That smooth so far, nothing choppy, none of that, you know, that lag when you first double tap to get in, you come back out, bang, smooth. Uh, what else can we show you? This music, obviously, uh, CM, uh, something that CM's put in there. To forgive the album art, it's just a bit blurry, it's not the screen.
move, so you can just, uh, it's not as encompassing as the original, uh, you know, stock build of Android on um, the LG G Pad because on that you could just double tap anywhere on the screen to lock it, to lock the screen. You can't do that here, you can only do it on the status bar, so there it is locked. Now you've got a notification there, as you can see. Control the music playback. Escape mode. Just get back in there. Again, using my pin there. So sorry, couldn't show that to you guys. Now, as you can see, everything opens pretty smoothly. The only place that I've seen lag so far is in the Play Store, wherever you are, my friend. There you are. And this is uh, scrolling through a list of the installed apps in the store. So I'm going to play. So I'm going to play nice. Anyway, <coughs> scrub that. This is Task Switcher, Android Lollipop style. Like for real. Like a pack of cards. Look at that. All as. You can use this just to get rid of all the apps, um, etc. Camera works fine. You can switch between that and the front one. Um, show you because it's just pretty obvious stuff anyway uh, what else? so as you can see it's still even though I've got a um, shitload of apps open I can still switch through everything very fast so let's just open Twitter even though all these apps are in memory it's still no sign of lag or slowdown so this is my Twitter feed scroll 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 that you have to say is impressive. Look at that. Location. Look at that. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now I have to I have to presume that this is, you know, due to the ART um, runtime, you know, being used instead of the older Dell Viking uh, you know the, which has been made in Lollipop to this fully, um, as it was an experimental that you could turn on in KitKat, but you know, they've done a great job of it, and it's good to see you know, that's working um, quite well in here. I'll just pause that for a sec. Now, uh, clock. This is the clock. How switch it is. Reset. Um, so that's. I'm not sure I could show you much else from that. It's just a basic show for of um, how it all works there. There you go. There's uh, the button there. It allows you to close the apps there. It's can't clear it. then the notification. Can't clear this notification because the treasure tag app you know, just stays there constantly anyway. Um, Tap on the weather, comes up Yahoo yeah, weather the widget. Can't drag or resize it, unfortunately. Uh, it's no biggie. Uh, so, yeah. If I find anything else, I'll make a note of it and talk about it uh, in a future video or on Twitter. But, um,. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to it. Let's just open a game quickly. Um, I think I already had the stick cricket open, but you can 
So you just switches through there pretty quickly. Landscape, so back to portrait mode again. So, so far, very impressed. Uh, as you can see, the column has already gone down 89%. <coughs> that might not seem much considering the stuff we're doing, and that's, uh, you know, it's on a tablet, you know, big deal because it's got a big battery, but um, I can assure you it wasn't as, um, didn't drain as fast as that. And, and certainly turning on flight mode helped a lot in here. Just Kindle app. So just reading the history of Symbian book here by David Wood. It's a great read. Long one. And, uh, hopefully I'll get through that one day soon. Microsoft Word. Just open the document quickly. OneDrive. So yeah, look at that. Pretty good. It's a little bit of lag there, but there's hardly anything. I've seen that lag on Office for Android before anyway. Um, so yeah, looks great. Show you YouTube quickly. scrolling that's pretty much it so oh there is one other thing now that the G there's uh, reminded me so as most of you know you can uh, say OK Google from any screen and um, bring up Google for a voice search so this is obviously not like the Moto X uh, you know 2013 2014 where you can just say <coughs> OK Google from you know when the phone's locked like there <laughs> and what time is it in Perth well close but hey um, okay thank you now uh, you know obviously not as um, uh, you know like the motor can't do it like the Moto X but uh, you know this is great just from any screen anyway you can just if you're doing something reading a book or whatever and you know you need Hear the weather or uh, stocks, you know, uh, or whatnot. Definition of something like there, just the definition of locked, even though, you know, intentionally I was uh, trying to say, okay, Google. You know, you can just you can just say, okay, Google, what time is it in Perth? Good time in Perth was. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Show me what I have on tomorrow. Obviously, it doesn't work. I haven't set up anything like that. So, um, yeah, oh, there we go. First, uh, have close error. Nothing else being used much anyway. There we go. And I'll just show you one more thing. As you can see, it loads everything super fast. So, there was something yet. I don't need the Google Slides since I've got Microsoft Excel going. Don't cancel, just go OK. Done. Bang, bingo. So, that's all there is to Android 5.0, the CM12 build for Android 5.0.2 for the LG GPAT 8.3, which is a nightly build. Um, yeah, so. Uh, obviously there are risks of rooting and um, you know installing custom recovery um, custom ROM on your device but if you feel confident in your ability and this is a road that you want to go down then this you know this is a great this is just proof of the pudding you know this that Google's done a great job on Android um, Lollipop and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video like subscribe to your mates about it and uh, I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching